Hey guys, this is Agent Washington 008 here, and I'm just going to do a quick little supplementary video. I'm sure I've introduced it better in the blog that you're re you know, you saw this because you're reading it, not because you're digging around on YouTube, because I doubt anyone would find my stuff. Just about the RT box, kind of like the whole thing. Uh, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different aspects of it. I'm going to cover some of the things that I'd never covered in my posts or I alluded to. And also, it's just kind of a big old thank you because the whole double gold thing is fantastic. Or the RT box plan as it is now. Because not only do you get to help RT more with, you know, bigger sponsorship price, you get tons of really cool merch and the discount and just kind of more fun really because a lot of the things that i'm going to show off in the post you know the blog in pictures in this video here are things i see and use every day it's not just oh you know i have four thousand toys of rooster teeth all sitting on a shelf i do we'll get to it but uh you know, it's shirts, and it's art, and it's useful little tools, which we're, like I said, we're going to get to. But first, we're going to talk about the stuff I don't use, because it'd be crazy for me to use everything. And that's what this little handy box, which it's actually kind of heavy, came in for. The Cool Nerd Stuff box, which I... Started a labeling things, but it just got a whole bunch more in there. So it's got the cards, the pins, the letters, and signed things from Rooster Teeth. Let's take a peek. Like I said, it's full. We've got the RT Entertainment System flatware. We've got some stickers. We have the last double gold letter. The anniversary one, which was really cool. Still not going to show off what's on the other side of these letters. I think that's something I'm going to keep for all the double gold RT box people. Cookbook. Surprisingly, a lot of, you know, foodie kind of stuff in here. The candles, burning urinal cake, and the torch wick. Again, just stuff I don't really use as often. And there's some stuff that's not double gold. As you can see, this came in the swag bag for RTX 2017, the one last year, you know, with the bandana. Anyway, I've got this. It's really cool. I still need to use some of those stickers. A lot of what's in here, that's not, you know, like art or whatever, or backings, as we'll see. It's just because I haven't decided what to do with it yet. The No Wet Bread towel that came with the summer box a while ago. I got uh, a Mizzers, Mizzers, Miranda Ramsey, the artist who, uh, you know, she had a booth in the community corner. Really cool stuff. Yeah. Postcards that came with the RT box one of the times. Don't know why I have this plastic one here. Like, this one makes sense, sort of, because the ruby thing's in it, but now there's... Whatever. The lads and gents. I got a really cool set. I got Gavin and Jeff, which I'm very happy with. We'll see them in a second. I found in the wild ruby cards, and I bought three packs. So, here's most of the ones that are in the wilds. You know, I, uh... A few of them out. Here's a letter. Um, they didn't have a pin one time because you know the box was delayed a lot because of production, and so instead they put a little note in there, which I thought was great. Again, it just kind of goes to show the great service of Rooster Teeth. All these codes, I don't have Steam or play that many, you know, online games, so like maybe I'll give those out eventually. Here's some real nice stuff. I've got the DVDs. My signed Red Rooster Blue DVDs. Very important to me. I want to get more signatures on them. And these are the ones that are... Well, I don't want to say redundant. Because they're really cool and awesome in themselves. I have the RTI 
RVBX box downstairs ready to go whenever I want to wash them. So I've got my signed important ones in this box here. Let's see that way. Two sticker, spooky, more cards, more letters, some Jeff collection stickers. So you can still mostly stuff I just have to find a use for. A million dollars butt pack from RTX. And then, yes, yeah, so there's RTX guides, and then paper arts, which I need to do. I was waiting to collect them all, but because of the, you know, they didn't auto-renew people for the double gold box when they were going to make the switch to RTX, I not know, RTX, the double gold box to RT box. I don't know why I have such a trouble you know, interchanging those. So they didn't renew people. But I also did not get the email that told people about that, so I missed a couple, you know, in there. One of them being the Weiss folder thing, the winter one. Then I also missed the really cool diner one, which had the hook thing, and, you know, the quartermaster's hook, oven mitt, and the coffee mug, team coffee mug. So... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I still really like from the RT box collections. And we might get to that later in this post too. But uh, for now, just, you know, I have everything I have. And like I said, the stuff in here, I'm going to drop my phone. Um, stuff I don't know what I'm going to do with yet, but I know I want to save them. Or, you know, the cards or the letters. And those are, in themselves, important memorabilia to me. So that's what's in the box. That's what I do with the stuff I haven't used. But as you can tell, that's already kind of full. Which is why I was super glad that they moved on to the bigger box. And this, this box itself is important. This is the boxing box. The Achievement Hunter boxing box. Still, I can't believe that I got the one in... However many people signed on for this box, I can't believe that I got it. And we have the other video up already talking about that. So I'm not going to talk any more about that. But what I was really glad is, you know, now I have room for more stuff. And I keep, you know, keep all the really cool stuff that they sent me that I don't really have a use for at the moment. That's the same ball. That's still the same ball. Chuck it. The rubber ducky. And then I put some of the stuff from the ruby box in there too. The, you know, box that Summer Rose came in. Which, Summer Rose figure is up here now. Um, waiting for the light. Along with the signed moon ball. Jeff, some cups, Gavin, the other ones were all, you know, things I bought regularly. And the Relationships Goal Flat Frame. Not really sure if you can see that. I'm holding this at an angle. And the light's on it. It says Relationship Goals right down there. Anyway, and it has text and church in it. Because why not? Uh, I've got the Achievement Hunter pennant from the Back to School box. Oh, well, we're showing off some of the things on the walls. I have this right by my bed so I can wake up and get in the right mood. You know, can't be damn. Anyway, so the boxing box, which is much bigger, which means it has more room for more things, is the new Cool Nerd Stuff box. And I'm glad I have it. These boxes are almost impossible to shut one-handed by the way or you know satisfactory shut one-handed but there I did it um, and then this gets into the whole you know you see things every day you use things every day we saw the art we saw the figures the boxes themselves are just great and look at them this one's all torn up but this is a sturdy box all of it is you know two layers of folded cardboard and you know it's not 
like regular shoe box that just, you know, slides on top. No, it hooks in the thing that I was talking about, how it's kind of annoying. But that keeps it steady. And that's great. Even this one, this might be my first one. Because it's so banged up and so old, you can tell it's the, or you'll be able to tell in a second, it's the darker red and it's slightly smaller than the box they started going with um, towards the end of the double gold boxes. But no, anyway, you can use them for storage. They're fantastic. I've got markers in this one because you all know, and I've got art in there apparently too. Oh, that was so Figure out what to do with. Let's uh, we'll put that down for now. But yeah, look at all these. Everyone knows that you know you get a set of markers and then you, to your style, use like seven of them in every drawing and the rest you don't. So you have a bunch of broken sets and that's what's in this box here. Just a bunch of broken sets of markers. Yeah. Uh, I'll shut it better when the video is over. But you can also, you know, you can put your D&D stuff in here, which I do. And, oh, look. This is my dice cup. The Rocket Rooster energy drink that also came in the last RT box. Also one of my favorite because it's Rocket Rooster. That was a fantastic finale of Red vs. Blue. And shut. Or, you know, you can keep, you know, spare things and things for future cosplays in there. Shh. You'll find out more later. So that's what the box itself has done. It's a great thing to... The box itself is almost a collectible. Because you can collect them and keep them and keep things in them. Oh, by the way. See, this one, very nice. Light red, darker red. A little bit bigger. Dark red. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. We're doing this live though, so coughing happens. But so the boxes themselves are great, but the things in the boxes, we need to talk about that. And we're already at 12 and a half minutes. And God, I can talk about rooster teeth for a while, can't I? Um, here's the first thing. This was shown off in the. Oh, and look on rooster teeth that wasn't curated at all um i've got this y mouse pad that i literally have used as my mouse pad all the time since i got it normally it sits here on the shoulder of my chair but for now it's on my bed the mouse she went hunter sticker is on there along with other fun nerdy things this is a newer laptop so it doesn't have as many stickers as the last one and my phone died again because of filming so <laughs> i really need to charge this before i start i'm learning but and i thought i did but clearly not enough anyway that's great transition from the laptop over into a few choice items like you know things i really need to mention before we move into the pictures and everything, and a couple other fun little bits that relate to this video. But so, the laptop, the boxes, and all the art, and all the little items, those are great. But some of the best things are, as I keep saying, the things I use every day, or almost every day. And these, Four things really fall into that category. We've got the double gold hat, which I've gone ahead and put on either double gold pins or some of the limited edition one, well, a limited edition one. But this hat, God, I've worn it so much over the past, you know, like year and a half that I had it. It's great. I probably wear this and the other hat more often than, you know, any five other hats I have combined since I got this. So this, if you see me in this hat, that means, you know, you see me on a regular day. <laughs> and so I've got the Jeff Pop Slick. I love that it's pink. I like pink. The 15th anniversary pin. 
also came in the last box. And this is why over here. And on the exact, it's a butt. Now, <laughs> again, this hat is great. Love this hat to death. But sometimes you're going to want something a little bit warmer. And something a little bit more funnier, or at least to me. And that's where I got this Stage 5 little beanie. And for now, there's only going to be one pin on it. And that's the Mad King Ryan. Something really cool. You know, I love Ryan. I love Mad King. But also, I... Refer to this as the Roosterdale hat, which if you're a fan of Riverdale or a fan of, you know, Archie comics in general, you know that Jughead has a little beanie with a red dot and a shiny dot. In this case, it's gold, but, uh, and that even looks like a little S. So it's got the crown, just got little bits and hints, at, you know, kind of a Jughead-y type vibe. I think that's funny anyway. That's why I wear this. Kind of like this Y, but just little things that I can do with these double gold things to have even more fun than regular. Um, this was a big hit at RTX, the headlight fluid flask. It's not dishwasher safe, so I only put water in there anyway. We got the good low refill. It's red. They sent it out and they had, you know, red, and then they had ones like this with that were blue and had the logo on this side, which I thought were. That's an awesome little reference. The fact that they went to all that trouble to not, you know, have like a Rooster Teeth logo in the corner. There's no red versus blue. You, ju you just know that it's headlight fluid and you know that the red one, it's exact opposite of the blue one. That's great effort. That's really funny. I love it. And it works great. I think this is actually bigger than a normal water bottle. So also really cool. Last these headphones i'm not a huge fan of earbuds i like over the ear those are more comfortable to, for me but these little earbuds they just have an achievement 100 logo and they're green i know that's not much they've held up so well the box is brilliant i know someone else you know it's probably a brand thing that someone else came with already it doesn't tangle it fits in my pocket you know, it's about the size of my palm. I'm a guy, so I have the big pockets like that. And yeah, I've just, I've used it everywhere I can. I always carry this around with me. I take it to work when I'm working long shifts. Because we don't really have a break room. And I can't really be listening to the off-topic podcast in the middle of the dining room. So I've got the headphones. And so those four things, you know, they go everywhere with me. Then there's also this little Rooster Teeth travel thing. It's great. This is just another a little subtle thing. It, I know it says Rooster Teeth, but, you know, it's a luggage carrier. It's not like it's, you know, a big backpack. You just you put it on something you already have, and someone else will see it and say, Oh, you like Rooster Teeth too? Yes, I do. And that's a conversation starter, and on and on. This also, funnily enough, is the backpack I carry all my D&D stuff in. Because I'm the DM, which means I have to take... One second. One, two, three, four. Six books and my screen everywhere with me on top of everything that goes in that RT box that I showed off already. The light red one on top there. So, yeah. Uh... Rooster Teeth and D&D get a lot of miles together right now. So real quick, because my phone died again, uh, but at, you know, a decent point for me to just say, this is the end of this video. Bye. That kind of thing. I'll get to the other stuff in the other posts. Um, like in the actual blog part, because I need to let this sit and I can't film what I need to. I need to take some pictures and I need to write out the actual blog. Hopefully, you know, I'll have it done by Sunday. But yeah, so that's, like I said, just a big old thank you. The rest of this blog and all the videos are meant as that as well. RT Box is great. Super glad I, you know, I got it. Super glad that Rooster Teeth does it. Thank you. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun. All right, that's a lackluster 
you know, sign off, but that's kind of what I do, especially when my battery keeps dying. Thanks.